a very pleasant evening uh, to everyone so i am very happy to uh, 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 see you all back with this machine learning class uh, e2 slot e2 plus te2 slot right so <clears throat> today i think today is the first class so today we will make this r as a zero r uh, <clears throat> instead of directly jumping into the topics we will start with the basic objective of this as a subject followed by and the outcomes right so the subject code is cs3008 is your subject code introduction to machine learning uh, <clears throat> this is your four credit subject so weekly three hours for theory two hours for lab two by two is a one credit so for every two hour is a considered as a single credit so theory for three credit a uh, lab for one credit totally four credit subject this is machine learning is concerned it is a four credit subject right so <clears throat> the main objective of this machine learning so machine learning generally it is the computer science based algorithm so which is used to solve the real world problems right machine learning started in the year of 1805 right in the year 1805 slowly then theoretically mathematically now it is algor algor algorithmatically right so we are solving uh, machine learning algorithms to solve the real world problems right the main objective of this machine learning is to introduce the fundamental problems of machine learning also providing various techniques mathematical concepts and the algorithms in order to facilitate the uh, machine learning research areas also there are certain limitations are there in the machine learning that is why we move on to the next concept like your artificial neural networks your deep learning etc the origin of this machine learning is nothing but your artificial intelligence so from the artificial intelligence the sub domain we used to call machine learning from the machine learning the sub domain we used to call neural networks from the neural network we used to call it as your deep learning right so this is how the various uh, uh, domains have been introduced in order to solve the real world problems right so this is how the course objective of this subject course objective is to as uh, learn the fundamental problems of ml also learning about the techniques mathematical concept and statistics also various limitations in ml also the implementation part this is what the course objective before uh, 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 the course starts once this course you once you have completed the, this course what we will do you will learn about various uh, machine learning algorithms right <coughs> recognize the characteristics of machine learning which is useful to real world problems CEO, this this course is mapped with the six CEOs course outcome. We used to call course outcome CEO one and CEO two and CEO three, CEO four, CEO five, CEO six. So totally there are six course outcomes. This course outcome is mapped with your program outcomes. After learning, after successful completion of this course, a student can be able to map with respective program outcomes. for example you are a btech student btech data analytics or beta robotics students then you can able to map these parameters co1 belongs to module 1 co2 belongs to module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 and module 6 each module is targeting individual pos program outcomes or program education outcome peos after successful completion of module 1 you will understand what do you mean by machine learning how machine learning is useful in solving the real world problems that is what course outcome 1 co once you learned this idea what you will do you will you will able to analyze you will able to apply the basic machine learning knowledge with in order to solve real world problems that is what po1 po1 is nothing but a program outcome 1 so it's nothing but in apply engineering knowledge to solve real world problems po2 is nothing but problem analysis po3 is nothing but design development of solutions design or development of solutions po4 is nothing but conduct investigations of 
complex problems. PO5 modern tool usage. PO6 engineer and society. PO7 environment and sustainability. PO8 apply ethical principles. PO9 individual and teamwork. PO10 communication and effectively. PO11 project management and finance. PO2 12 lifelong learning. So these are the defined parameters how each module is useful in attaining these POs. That is what this PO CO mapping is all about. So each student they should know how this can be related with your life. After successful completion of module 2, module 2 talks about regression algorithm. So you can able to attain PO1, PO2, PO4, 6, 7 and 8. Meaning once your regression algorithm, once you have learned regression algorithm, you can able to solve basic real world problems. PO2 is nothing but analysis. PO4 is nothing but investigations, usage of tools, etc. So you can able to complete these tasks. CO3 is nothing but support vector machine. CO4 is nothing but neural networks. CO5 is nothing but Bayesian network. CO6 is nothing but hidden Markov chain models. So these are the six course outcomes that can be mapped with the different POs within the 45 hours. We can be able to learn all these things. So now module one. Module one is nothing but introduction. So here we will study what is the purpose of ML, what are the applications of ML, what is the basic types of ML. Then module 2 regression module completely talks about regression. Module 3 is up to support vector machine SVM. Module 4 is Bayesian classification. Module 5 is neural networks and module 6 is hidden Markov chain models. Your, your re reinforcement learning, right? So totally 45 hours. So within this 45 hours, you will be learning this complete ML. The textbook is a Tom Michael. Uh, so this is already uploaded in the MS Teams. I uploaded your syllabus copy and the textbook e copy in the uh, MS Teams. I will upload uh, then and there the PPT once I complete it. There are six, four more reference books are given so you can download it from the free websites. So the subject credit is a four credit, three hours for theory and two hours for lab. So totally uh, three by <coughs> 3 by 1, 3 plus 2 by 2, 1. So totally 4 credits were allotted for this subject. The mode of evaluation, CAT 1 carries 20 mark, CAT 2 carries 20 mark, FAT carries 20 mark. This is as per the last semester existing plan. Maybe let us wait for the Dean Academics rubrics. So this is considered as the embedded theory, theory and lab. So weightage goes to lab 25%. And non-CAT quiz or a project carries 15%. So CAT 1, CAT 2, FAT 60%, lab 25% and project is 15%. All put together 100%. So now let us move on to the ML. What is a ML generally? So ML is one of the uh, subfield of artificial intelligence, right? So... <clears throat> What is the main purpose? So it is one of the subfield of artificial intelligence which is used to define the capability, capability of the machine to imitate the intelligent human behavior. Same, whatever the work do by the human, the same work needs to be done by the uh, machine. So we want to imitate uh, the human nature with the machines. So that is what the intelligence, we are giving intelligence to the machine. That is what machine intelligence all about, machine learning. So by, by giving the knowledge to the machine, machine has started learning something. That learning we used to call machine learning, either by giving or training, teaching the model to the machine training the model or teaching the model to the machine so that machine will start learning something it's similar like a human that is what machine learning is all about what is the purpose of doing this obviously by doing uh, by training the machine we can be able to solve the real term problems right so instead of doing a 50 
humans instead of 50 humans doing a single task a uh, one machine can replace 50 humans there nowadays complete automobile industry cv nlp all other domains are completely replaced with the machines right it is completely automated so there your normal a single machine is doing the 50 per man's job so that is what artificial intelligence is all about i can learn everything automatically from the experience yes a human can do this because q human can say from the experience we can learn but what about machine machine also can do the same so we are slightly we are changing the term called learning from the past data as a humans we will learn from the experience machine will learn from the past data with the help of machine learning algorithm that is how your machine learning algorithm is came into picture right suppose i will give you a simple example so i am i am showing um, i what do you call i am showing like a, one image which is called a fish by seeing the image you can easily predict yes this is a fish you can say that is a fish i am showing some other variety of fish yes human can easily predict is it yes it is a fish i am showing some other she fish yes human brain we can easily predict yes that is a fish what about machine how machine will predict because we as a humans we come across such images from the childhood do now by seeing the image we can say our brain is tuned accordingly because if the image which has some eyes and tail head and something like that you can say that is a fish if i if, if i show you some animal we can say what type of animal it is because our human brain is <coughs> modified accordingly our human brain reacts accordingly because we have come across uh, many scenarios like that from our childhood but machine machine cannot say like that if may if i give if i if i feed 100 images then machine needs to say what type of image it is either a fish or animal or flower whatever it may be but how do machine say machine will say from the past data you need to train the model you need to teach the model such that the machine will say it is a fish it is an animal it is a flower it is a book by seeing the image or else we can machine cannot say that is what the machine learning is playing a vital role right <clears throat> so this machine learning with the help of this learning what we will do we can detect the patterns we can detect the structure we can detect the theme we can detect the current trend from the data whether tomorrow rain will come or not tomorrow whether stock my stock will go high or not whether i can uh, my train will reach on time or not so everything is a prediction how there is a, some ml algorithm is running backside right so that is how ml is playing a vital role so generally we used to say this modern ml algorithms are heavily a data driven it is not a task driven it is a data driven data driven meaning what so completely everything is based on the data that is what it is data analyst data big data your data scientist data science so everything the data is comes first so if there is no data then nothing nothing is exist so by using these data by using the past data by using the previous data sets you can go for prediction right so with that we can come for the conclusion so something is going to happen our classification prediction regression something like that that is how your ml algorithm is playing a vital role so the main category where it got where does it come from so it is come from the artificial intelligence then then machine learning is a subfield of ai is nothing but ml then again neural networks again it is again deep learning right so slowly we are uh, narrow downing the statement narrow downing the areas in if in order for better solutions so that is what this mls came to picture how does this machine learning works 
generally what we will do we will running this algorithm and models from the data so something should be given as a input so that is we called as input data then that input data should be analyzed when you say analysis you need to collect the data you need to clean the data you need to pre-process the data outlier should be removed again that should be replaced with some missing values everything analysis takes place after analysis find patterns from the pattern that should go to prediction once prediction has been done then you can store such results into the db so this is how machine learning will work right there are three types of machine learning one is supervised learning second one is unsupervised learning the third one is reinforcement learning so supervised learning as you all know here learning through labeled data so labeled data for each data for each image some tag is given if i say if i am loading 10 images each image is loaded with some tag label dog right human image flower vegetable etc so for each image there should be a label so here learning is happening through labeled data that is what supervised learning unsupervised learning here learning is happening through unlabeled data here there is no labeling here is happening based on the observations learning is happening based on the observation in reinforcement learning here reinforcement learning either it does not use labeled or unlabeled data in traditional sense here in reinforcement learning the agent learns via its inter interactions with an environment we will start with the agent agent starts learning based on the interaction with the environment right for example your robot navigation robot is started in the sta uh, initial stage now i am giving instruction to robot go straight from there it will again uh, uh, look for the instruction from its environment again someone needs to give again instruction take right take left so this robot it will work based on the instructions or interaction with the environment feedback is given uh, then and there so that it will work so robot navigation your uh, autonomous vehicles self driving cars these are all your uh, reinforcement learning but it will work based on the feedbacks right so nowadays your yeah, internet cars has come there are many internet cars has come so it will give instruct you will give a instruction based on that it will work so these are all such kind of reinforcement learning so in reinforcement learning we are not talking about labeled data unlabeled data here in no data no labeled or unlabeled data here no predefined data are there in the reinforcement here the agent is there and the environment is there agent start learning from the environment instructions right then it will work there are two classifications of a uh, supervised learning generally supervised we used to call classification unsupervised we used to call clusterings right so when you say supervised there, there are different methods classification and regression and ranking these are all your classification methods again unsupervised meaning it is a clustering dimensionality reduction and density estimation these are all your unsupervised learnings right so uh, there are some more learnings are there so semi supervised learning semi supervised learning meaning it is combination of both supervised and unsupervised you can say both labeled and unlabeled data may be there in order for prediction other than these active learning transfer learning multitask learning imitation learning zero shot learning few shot learning there are some more upcoming learning techniques also they may be there so in machine learnings so what do you mean by this supervised learning so supervised learning so learning is happening from labeled data for prediction that is what supervised learning you should know the basic outline definition of each key terms supervised learning supervised meaning we are not keeping any third person to supervise we are not deputing or deploying any manpower here supervise meaning here we are supervising the machine 
through learning through training through model that is what supervised learning here the supervision the learning structure is from the labeled data for prediction when you say unsupervised learning here we are finding here learning is happening through unlabeled data we don't have any labels here by seeing the image you cannot say it is a dog or animal or some other fl fly sir you, from the observation you need to note down you need to train the model clearly what are the hidden attributes of that image <clears throat> so with from that observation you can come for the prediction the third one is reinforcement learning reinforcement learning meaning here learning actions are based on the feedback from the environment so that you should understand clearly learning is based on feedback from the environment that is what a reinforcement learning for each category there are different types of algorithms are there so we will see one by one in upcoming class now you can see here a simple example i have quoted supervised learning here some labeled data is given see apple mango and some some strawberry or something like that so now <coughs> Now this data, raw data is given to the model algorithm. Now this model, what it, it includes training data set, desired output and with by the supervisor machine. So now this data, raw data is given to this model algorithm. After that algorithm, so that pre-processing is happening and testing, modeling, learning, everything is happening here. Finally, these images are classified. The red colors are apple. This green colors are berry. Again, this yellow colors are mango. So now the the raw data is classified into different fruits. That is what the classification is all about. That is why we used to call it a supervised learning. See here. So now this example is given with a label. See the dog. This image is given the tagline. Tag is dog, dog, dog. This is cat, cat, cat. So here two different images are two set of images are given as a training data from this training data first features are extracted what does what does it mean by it features so the name of this labels features extracted dog dog cat 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 so feature extraction is one of the phase in the machine learning right in order to represent the data now features are extracted these features are given to the machine learning algorithm from there so what we will do our model ml model is used to predict whether that object the feature extracted images are dog or cat so now the test images are given the test images is given to the model then features are extracted then the extracted features are given to the ml model then ml model is nothing but a predictor predictor it will predict whether it is a cat or a dog. So this is how the supervised learning model works. So now unsupervised. Here in unsupervised, we don't have any labeling data. Here we are not restrict, extracting any features. This will work based on the observation. So now this see these three red colors are grouped into separate. Again, this green and yellow are grouped into separate based on this model first we will take the first object then we'll take the second object we'll compare the similarities between the object there is uh, zero similarity then we will make it as a different cluster if the same similarity is there then then make it as a single cluster so add it into the same cluster so accordingly we will group it cluster it that is what this one so unsupervised machine learning right so this is what supervised unsupervised Finally, see here the lab unlabeled data is given. Image, dog images, cat images are given. But here no way it mentioned like a cat, cat, dog, dog, dog. Nothing was mentioned. So from this images, features are extracted. That is given to ML algorithm. So now this ML algorithm will work based on the observations given by the previous one. So now this uh, these images, see these green colors are single image. These other colors are another, another image. 
so now what it does this ml algorithm groups the similar items together so cluster one nothing but a cat cluster two is nothing but all dogs so now this cluster one and cluster two so cl each cluster has one center head which is nothing but centroid in order to control these all these nodes in that cluster so this is what cluster one and cluster two that is what unsupervised learning the third one is reinforcement learning reinforcement learning here here also there is no predefined data here the system the agent learns from the environment that is what this agent selection of algorithm then after selection the best action sequence are taken then if it is okay then the feedback is taken again given to the agent so this will go in a circular motion so loop finally the best output will be selected the best outcome is predicted that will be listed here right so this is what the reinforcement learning is all about so now the comparison is supervised unsupervised reinforcement supervised meaning the machine learns by using labeled data that is what supervised unsupervised the machine is trained on unlabeled data without any guidance reinforcement is agent interact with the environment by performing actions and learning from the errors and rewards what are the different types of supervised regression and classification unsupervised is something but clustering and association reinforcement learning based reward based <clears throat> what type of data we will use for supervised and unsupervised in supervised learning we will use labeled data unsupervised learning we will use unlabeled data reinforcement learning we never use any predefined data also in supervised learning external supervision is required then unsupervised no supervision reinforcement also no supervision right approach what we will use in supervised we will map the labeled inputs to the known outputs in unsupervised understand the patterns and discovers the output reinforcement follow the trial and error method this is what the supervision data with label without label here in reinforcement we will have a states and actions this feedback is again it is give back given back to the uh, agent so here mapping classes and actions takes place right this is how your types of machine learnings okay sir this are these are all the types how do we evaluate the performance how do we evaluate the machine learning models performance for this we will use different parameters different metrics accuracy precision recall squared error likelihoods posterior probability cost utility margin entropy kl divergence uh, divergence etc so these are the different types of evaluation parameters we can use to evaluate the metric where we will use these machine learning examples there are different areas there are famous areas like your self driving car google car web search results fraud detection credit score your pattern recognition movie recommendation systems amazon flip netflix prediction of success and failure texas based text based sentiment analysis and market pricing and social listening applications so these are the various areas where your ml is been used right so this is how the introduction at the course goal by end of the semester you should be able to understand the various machine learning algorithm and the implementation part and how to approach the real world problems also <coughs> you will learn how to implement it right so this is what the course goals at the end so that's all for the today introduction class so i hope you can understand what do you mean by ml then uh, uh, followed by the three categories of ml supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning where these algorithms are used right so next class tomorrow's class we will start with the uh at uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, one by one same types with a little more details with examples okay
the first week full week is completely introduction class so slowly i'll be taking you to the theory so theory the first portion learning problems perspectives and issues we will see in the saturday class tomorrow we will have one more uh, uh, introduction class so that you will understand more yeah